Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Mobile Ads Garage. Today is all about Firebase, Google's mobile platform that helps you quickly develop high quality apps, grow your user base, and earn money. If you watched the keynote from iOS 16, you heard that Firebase now offers a whole bunch of new services and that AdMob is one of them. So in this episode, with the help of Gary the Graphics Guy, we're gonna cover how Firebase and AdMob work together, what the benefits are, and then we'll have screencast showing how to import the mobile ads SDK along with the Firebase SDK. But first, let me step into my app so I can welcome our first ever guest star, noted Firebase expert and star of the Firecast series, David East. What's up, everybody? Oh. What? We have company. <laughs> now then, uh, David, uh, maybe you could tell our viewers about what Firebase is. Sure, yeah. Firebase is a unified app platform for Android, iOS, and web development with tools to help develop faster, improve app quality, acquire and engage users, and monetize apps. Oh, so uh, what kind of tools are we talking about? Man, there's a bunch. Like my favorite, the real-time database, notifications, crash reporting, analytics, and of course, probably your favorite, AdMob. So part of the Firebase platform is AdMob. Yeah, Firebase is designed to help developers at every stage of the life cycle. So you can actually get a lot out of the Firebase tools at no charge, like analytics, remote config, push notifications, and then AdMob will actually go and pay you. No, it is true. I'm actually not that good of a salesman. Firebase and AdMob are friends, Gary. <laughs> Okay, so that's why someone would want to use Firebase, but uh, what about how? If an AdMob publisher wants to get on board with Firebase, how do they do that? Well, they can actually link AdMob apps to Firebase projects right from the AdMob website, and then mainly it's a matter of getting the config file and importing the SDKs. Cool. Uh, so around here, I like to list the steps before we do a screencast, so let's break it down for Android. All right, so to get an Android app up and running with AdMob and Firebase, you just need to link the app with a Firebase project, Download the Firebase config file and include it. Configure the Google Services Gradle plugin, and then add individual services. Uh, yeah, I can't see anything. Gary, unblock him. Hey, David's a nice guy. Haven't you seen Firecast? What's the problem? Is that what this is about? It's still you and me, buddy. AdMob's not going anywhere. Uh, you don't have to use Firebase with it if you don't want to. The API isn't changing. The SDK still works the way it always has. I mean, if publishers don't have to make big changes, neither do we. Absolutely, we can still catch a ball game together. Yeah, I have season tickets. See, it's a win-win. All right, now that that's settled, let's get to our screencast and take a look at how to use Firebase and AdMob together in an Android app. All right, so here are the four steps for Android. We're gonna begin with the first, linking an AdMob app to a Firebase project. I'll include a guide at the end of this video with more info on how this linking works, but for now, one of the easiest ways to get started is just to go to the Analytics tab in the AdMob console and click this nice Get Started with Firebase button. When I click that, I get to a list of my AdMob apps, and I can click the Link to Firebase button to link one to Firebase. That gets me a prompt for my app's package name, which is needed for the configuration stuff to work later. And depending on whether you've already created a Firebase project or not, you may have some choices on the next screen. This is what you get if you've never created a Firebase project before. Clicking Continue will take you to the next screen, one that looks like this, telling you that you uh, now have a linked app. And so that's step one. Step two is to download the Google Services JSON config file, which is really easy because the screen I just showed you has a link to it, right there. Just click that link and you'll be sent to the Firebase console and the download will start automatically. Once it's downloaded, I can go into an Android Studio project and drag it right into the source tree like that. Uh, it goes in the root folder of the app source and it'll be used later by the Google Services plugin. Cool. All right, so step one and two down, on to step three, configuring the Gradle plugin. So here I'm back in Android Studio, and I'm looking at the project level build.gradle file. That's the one that applies not just to the app, but everything in the project source tree. And so I'm just gonna add a little class path here for the Google Services plugin, which is new. And we're doing a Gradle sync, there we go. With that done, I can head into the apps build.gradle and add a line at the bottom to apply that plugin. There we go. 
This plugin uses the Google Services JSON file to inject configuration data into the app when it builds, and it also does some other Firebase -y setup kind of stuff. All right, so that's the plugin. Now it's time for the last step, adding individual services. I can do that the same way I always have through Gradle dependencies. So for AdMob with Firebase, the Gradle artifact is called Firebase adds. There we go. There are, by the way, a ton of these artifacts available. Here's a list of the services along with Gradle dependencies that go with them, uh, which you can find in the Firebase Android setup guide. And you can see there's a bunch in here, real-time database, authentication, everything you might want. All right, so that's all four steps finished, which means I can come back into my activity file now and start messing around with AdMob classes like AdView. And you can see the type is resolving, so you know the SDK has been properly imported. So uh, what did you think? Looks right to me. Excellent. Uh, so up next is iOS, and let's take a look at the steps there. <laughs> Gary, hello. And we're back to the pudgy redhead jokes. All is right with the world. Uh, David, do you mind? Nope. To get an iOS app up and running with AdMob and Firebase, first you link the app to a Firebase project. Then you download a configuration plist file. Next, you update your pod file to reference the Firebase pods, and then initialize Firebase in your app. Thanks. Uh, I'll let you do the screencast, though. OK, so here are the four steps for iOS. And we're going to begin with the first, linking an AdMob app to a Firebase project. There's a bunch of ways to get started on this, and I'll include a guide at the end of this video. But for now, I'm just going to go to the Analytics tab in the AdMob console, where the front end team has this nice Get Started with Firebase button. When I click that, I get a list of my AdMob apps. And I can click Link to Firebase right here to link my app. That gets me a prompt for my app's bundle ID, which is needed for the configuration stuff to work later. And depending on whether you've already created a Firebase project or not, you may have some choices on the next screen. Here you can either link the app to one of your existing Firebase projects or create a brand new one. Either way, once you're done with this screen, you get one that looks like this, telling you the app is linked. So that's step one. Step two is to download the plist file that contains your Firebase configuration information, uh, which is crazy easy because the screen I just showed you has a link right to it, right there. Uh, that'll take you to the Firebase console and start the download automatically. Cool, so that's steps one and two. Let's take a look at step three, updating the project's CocoaPods. So I'll head into Xcode, and here's my very basic iOS app. And I'm going to use CocoaPods to get the Firebase SDK and the Mobile Ads SDK into it. So the first thing I need to do actually is close Xcode uh, and create a pod file using pod in it. There we go. So I got a pod file, uh, which I'm going to edit using Vim. So everybody out there thinks I'm smart. Cool. Uh, inside the pod file, I just need to add two dependencies to my target. First is the Firebase pod, which gives me access to basic Firebase stuff like the Firebase app class, which we'll see in a second plus Firebase Analytics, uh, and then a second pod for AdMob. Uh, there are, by the way, a ton of these pods. Uh, here's a list of the available Firebase services and the pods that go with them, which you can find in the setup guide. I'll actually link you to later. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch. Cool. Uh, so now I do a pod install to get all my new dependencies. There we go. And now I'll open the workspace file that CocoaPods made for me to get back into Xcode. All right, so that's steps one through three. The last step is to initialize Firebase. To start, I'm going to grab that plist file that we downloaded earlier, and I'm going to drag it into the root of my source tree. Firebase uses this config file to store a bunch of keys and ID kind of things. Uh, that's what the file's for. There we go. Next, in my app delegate, I'm going to import the Firebase framework provided to me by the pods, and then call the configure method in the Firebase app class. There we go. That configures my app at launch and makes sure that all the installed Firebase components are ready to go. Uh, so that's it. I'm done with all four steps, and AdMob with Firebase is ready to go. Uh, which means I can come into the View Controller, for example, import the Firebase framework, and start playing with AdMob classes. Uh, here's a GAD banner view. And you can see the type resolving right there, so you know the SDK has properly been imported. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that the dedicated Google Mobile Ads SDK CocoaPod, the one that everybody's been used to using up until now, that has not been deprecated. So if you're not interested in using Firebase, but you do still want to use AdMob, that's, that's an option for you. It's not going away. Uh, also, if you don't want to use CocoaPods, you can also download these frameworks directly from the Firebase developer site, uh, firebase.google.com. 
All right, so that's iOS. I'm going to put up some resource links for you guys, but first, thanks to David for stopping by. My pleasure. By the way, if you want to learn more about Firebase, you can check out Firecast, where we cover everything you need to know about Firebase for Android, iOS, and web with step-by-step -step screencasts. Sounds great. Thanks. Thanks for having me. All right, so that's one good resource. You might also be interested in the AdMob Quick Starts for Android and iOS, which we've updated to include Firebase. We've also updated our AdMob samples to show the use of Firebase, so you can check those out on GitHub. And we've got a Help Center article that covers how to link your AdMob apps with Firebase projects. And the uh, Firebase support page has a number of good options if you have questions. As always, if you have technical questions about the Mobile Ads SDK, stop by our support forum, and Gary and I will see you next time.